In this video, we're going to add a displace modifier to this flame to make it accentuate the flame. So this is the base for an upcoming video. So if you want to see what happens with this actual block, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But we're going to talk about adding that displace modifier to it just to give it like extra oomph. You know what I mean? So I've just made the world material a little bit brighter just so we can see other bits and pieces that we add that we need to control the displace modifier. So let's come over into the modifiers. Let's go add modifier and we're going to go into displacement. There it is. So already if I kind of um, turn it on and off, we can see that obviously there's a little bit of uh, displacement come through. Now, first up, I'm going to create a material for it. So let's create a new texture. Let's come over here onto those two little things all the on the right hand side, select that. What I want to do is create a cloud texture and we can see that it's like really haggly. So what I'm gonna do is just increase the size of the clouds, just so it's not so prevalent. But as you can see, it's kind of just deformed the mesh. It hasn't really done anything else. We wanna kind of make it flow and change in scale and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna do that here because it's just gonna be kind of like a It's not exactly what I want. I kind of want the uh, ripple effect as if the texture is moving across. So this is what we got to do. We come back into the modifiers. Let's go shift a create a empty. I'm just going to create a cube. Let's just go G, put it over there. Let's stop playing. I'm going to go to the start. Let's press I to set a keyframe location. And then we'll go to 350 G to the X, something like that. I location. So we can see that our empty, which is really bad on this one, we can see our empty kind of goes left and right. Now the empty is not affecting our thingamabob yet. So let's come back into the modifiers. From here, what we're gonna do is with the coordinates, we're gonna select object. And can you guess which object we're going to select? Empty, there we go. And if we move that now, start to finish, we can see how much it changes. So let's press play. And we can see that we've kind of got that. So maybe here, what we could do is probably bring down the strength to maybe 0.2. Um, and you know what I think? I reckon we make this bigger. So let's go with frame 50. I'm just gonna go G to the X, I location. And then if we come back to the start and press play, it's much more nicer. Now the next thing as well, I'm gonna come down into the timeline down the bottom. I'm gonna press T to bring up the interpolation. And from there, I'm gonna change that to linear. So what it's gonna do is be a constant speed from frame one to 350, where at the moment it's the Bezier where it kind of like slowly starts off, hits its speed, and then it will slowly taper off. And I just went out of camera. And this is the result. Now I will make this material available to download a little bit later once the next video has been created. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And um, yeah, until next time.